Dr. Over EMP. Today I'm going to be showing you and walking you through an application from the iTunes App Store called Pulse News. What it is is it's a news reader, RSS reader type of application. It allows you to search and find any kind of website or um, specific category. No matter what it is, it'll allow you to find that and put it into a section where you'll be able to see all the upcoming news about that specific category or website or sports team or whatever it may be, social website, Twitter, Facebook, whatever you want, you can put that into this um, application and see all the news that comes up on a daily basis or hourly basis or whatever you want, however often you decide to open up the application and refresh it. So I'm just going to open it up and show you guys what it's all about. Alright, so as you can see right when you open it up, it gives you this nice little grid looking like um, system where you just scroll down. This does work in both landscape and portrait mode. But you just scroll down, you can see all the different stories. Um, some, if it has a story has a picture in it, it'll show you the picture. And to read that story, all you gotta do is click on it. And it'll open up this little sidebar over here. Now if you wanna go back, you can just click on that right there, the little uh, grid icon. If you wanna post it to Twitter or Facebook or email to somebody, you can click on that. If you wanna make the font bigger, you come over here and click right there and if you want to make it bigger you can just click on the bigger button just like how it works in iBooks then you can come over here and if you want you can sign up and uh, create your own Pulse account and you'll be able to save articles and so on and so forth if you guys want to do that but that's how you read and if you if there's one over here that you want to look at specifically you can scroll through and it'll just come up as you click it, it'll come up onto the side just like that. And then like I said, to get back, just press right there and it'll go right back. Now what's great about the iPad version is there's no limit. On the iPhone, you have a 20 new source limit. On this, I'm pretty sure there's no limit at all. Now you might, you might have a limit to the amount of sources you can put per page, but if you press the home button right over here, you can see that you have multiple pages that you can enter sources into. So if I want to go to page two, now there is, I think there's a little bit of a bug inside this app right now. Some of the pages, when you touch it, it doesn't really work as well. Sometimes you have to touch it a couple times. You might see me doing that right now. I don't know why it does that. It might be a bug. Maybe it'll fix it in an upcoming update or something. But yeah, tons of tons of sources you can add. Click on the third page. You just keep going with sources. I only have, I think, a couple. See how I had to click a couple times on this last page. But yeah, you can just keep going, put as many stuff as you want, and to do that, all you're going to want to do is go up here to this little section, and it'll show you in this nice little format all of the sources that you had. So you guys can see all the different sources that I have, TechCrunch, Rev and Pi on the first page, Mashable, and ESPN, and CNN on the third page, and so on and so forth. And like I said, you can just keep adding sources right there. So now, it also, when you press the Add button, it gives you all these sources that come with the application, probably partner sources that maybe support the application. They also have different categories right here. You can scroll down if you want to see the top news sources in different categories. Click on social, it'll give you all the different best top ones that are out right now. Dig.com obviously, Reddit's a very popular one as well, Twitter, Facebook. Then you come over here if you want to search. And say you want to search for a specific sports team uh, like the Yankees or the Giants or something like that. You can search Yankees, and right there, right there on the top, it will come up, New York Yankees um, Topics. To add that, you just press the Add button, and it will add that source, and then you can just press Done, and your source will be right there. And then, if you want to see that source, you just go to the pages, it'll be at the fifth page, because that's the one that you were editing, and you'll see all the top stories now that have to do with the Yankees, and different topics, and stories that have to do with the Yankees franchise or maybe players different stuff like that now I'll go back into settings now if you want to get rid of a uh, different source then what you're going to want to do is come up here and press edit and the X's will come up just like they do on the applications on your springboard so to get rid of one all you're going to want to do is say I want to get rid of the Yankees one just go over there press X and there it's gone and then just press done if you're all done editing and that's it and that's really the application. It's very simple, very easy to use. There's not much to it, which makes it very easy just to come in and read the story and get out. And it's just very, very nice. And it's free. And it's, it's definitely not a free app. You know what I mean? It has all the 
qualities of a paid application, but because they're in the Hall of Fame, they decided to make it free since so many people have supported them and uh, bought the application, including myself. It is very nice, very good. I highly recommend it for a news application. Hopefully you guys will go buy it or go get it for free. Just install it onto your iPad. Like I said, it's also available on the iPhone. You're limited to 20 sources, but um, they're just trying to keep up, keep the memory low on that. But that is all, guys. I hope you like this application. If you do, make sure you subscribe and leave a comment. And I will talk to you guys later.